hello guys uh, uh, i have been uploading some video on the gra verbal and uh, this video is about uh, uh, the reading comprehension now uh, this is my second video in the series for the reading comprehension in the first lecture i talked a little bit about what is this subject and how to approach this now in this uh, class i am going to talk a little bit about the pre knowledge subject because you need to know some areas some terminologies some uh, technicalities of some of the area so we talked about uh, the strategy the importance of pre knowledge various things in the last class we talked about this time strategy let me directly get into the kind of uh, areas that you need to study now uh, there are three major areas which are defined by the ETS as the areas of the RC the first is science the second is humanities and the third is social science now uh, we know that uh, GRE is given by people of various background they could be engineers they could be uh, guys from the medicine they could be guys from the law uh, so if we have like two or three reading comprehension one would be from science one would be from humanities and one would be from social science is a general distribution that you can make so when you start with your preparation of the reading comprehension i advise you that if you are weak in some aspect just read a little bit about the kind of questions possible in that aspect for example uh i i don't know whether you can see this slide very clearly you can download the presentation from my web website it's uh, 3gregmatclass.com so uh, for example if you are an engineer from india and you are giving this exam then the kind of areas that could trouble you is uh, psychology maybe you just know that psychology is the study of the brain but you don't know what is women psychology what is child psychology which are the favorites of the ets if you are an engineer topics like history could give you problem and especially history of world war 2 world war 3 history of uh, the slavery and how slavery was abolished the history of the capitalism and uh, the communism and the comparison so those are the kind of things which uh, generally you should know a little bit at least you should know the great people and the terms because when you come to a reading comprehension pre knowledge is going to play a role you need to understand about the definitions of these things about why and how what logics are there to support a capitalistic society what logics are there to support uh, uh, the kind of uh, system that we have what, what logics are there to support the kind of women uh, and the feminist movement that is going on so uh, these are the areas which you need to study a little bit before when you give the exam because at the time when you are in the exam you need to have some idea about the terminologies which are going to be used so in a, in my class you know what i do is that i talk about each uh, Uh, of this area one by one like uh, if i am taking a 27 series class or a 50 hour class on the rc then maybe in each class i'll uh, talk 10 15 minutes about each of these areas so uh, i what i do is that i prepare my students in a way that he understands a little bit about all of these areas so if there is suddenly a reading comprehension on feminism he understand he understand the basic uh, theme of the feminism what are the logics given what was the state of women how we are trying to uh, make an equal society what are the steps taken so when there is uh, an uh, rc he knows at least the basic of the subject now of course the subjects are huge but we know that these are the kind of subjects that's going to be asked and if you are afraid of some subject then to remove the psychological barrier you should uh, read that area like for me personally i'm afraid of uh, literature so i generally try to read the uh, milton's literature the paradise lost the trojan wars the greek literature so i do that to remove my fear and to understand what go, what goes on in uh, those subjects so first you have to make a list of which areas kind of have a psychological effect on you that oh i get this area and life is tough for me in the gre remove that part read that area and uh, come to my class and solve uh, as is on that area to get confidence from uh, uh to get confidence and uh, so that you don't uh, get it wrong in the gre 
okay for the cat for the for those guys who are giving the cat or the gmat uh, those areas would be a little bit different they would be economy financial jobs biology technology and financial aspect the, the game is different for i am cat the game is a little bit different for the gre and the game is little bit different as you change the mode of exam you are giving in we talked about the ability to concentrate the diplomatic language now when we talk about the diplomatic language and application of this diplomatic language to pre knowledge it's quite important because suppose there is a reading comprehension which compares a free market versus the old system that we had or the globalization or those things then the author is uh, trying to persuade you it's a persuasive writing method so you should understand the diplomatic language to actually get in 100% of what points author is raising to support his stand all right so uh, there have been some strategy sets these triggering words we are going to cover in the next class and uh, so what what step one goes uh, in the pre knowledge is you should remove your psychological and mental barrier for the subject and if you are afraid of some subject just uh, understand that subject do the assis on that subject and improve yourself so uh, that's what uh, you are required to do now uh, i'll try to upload the uh, assis of each of the 27 areas i'll try to have a 10 minutes uh, lecture single lecture so i'll try to upload around 300 minutes of uh, the videos on all these areas uh, with a pre knowledge and with one rc being solved so i'll try to do that uh and uh, you should work on removing your uh, fears because fear is something which keep you down so move out of your fear and win the war for example uh, some people my uh, some people from uh, india feels that greek mythology is something which they don't understand so you should read on this subject you should read a couple of books and uh, we use uh, therefore this technique uh, Uh, the three method step to read but and look at the second point which talks about the pre knowledge you should have pre knowledge about the subject to kind of interpret and understand the depth of the logic which are being told so pre knowledge is an important concept you cannot ignore it you have to study all the 27 areas and be prepared mentally especially and uh, of course uh, as a knowledgeable person it will help you in future also to know some uh, basic definitions of some terms in psychology or some terms in history or some terms in economics that's of course going to add to your knowledge and that's what is required from you so this is all about the pre knowledge and the pre knowledge about the us what goes on and uh, is the us uh, civil war the african american movement uh the wars that the us uh, had like vietnam war and all those kind of uh, things you should read and uh, maybe in the next class i'll cover this subject in more detail so thank you for watching this very small recording i'll try to cover the other aspects as well in my upcoming class to to get the details about my classes you can check out my website it's online classes.nanotechbiz.org or you can check uh, freegregmatclass.com so freegregmat uh, class.com is my website you can check it out for the latest videos or the uh, online classes that i take and you can join in on each weekday or weekends as your schedule or you can uh, uh, check out or request some classes and i'll try to arrange them so thank you for listening to this very small recording best of luck for the exam and god bless you the references that you should read is the gre parents gre no cover cracking the gmat how to read better and faster and the ets website that's where you'll get